Welcome back here with another tutorial for our item system and well, let's just go ahead and jump straight in. So we left off last time we can build everything uh, for our database as far as the elements we want for our editor. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull that up. You know, it's displaying our icon or sprite or texture, whatever we want to call it, our name and we have a delete button, uh, but we don't have the delete button functionality put in yet. So that's what we're going to do first. Let's go ahead. We'll just close that off. We'll just jump right into the script. And we'll go ahead and add a dialog box. So right now we just have a GUI button set up, but we don't have any functionality. So the first thing we're going to do is set it up to where we can. Great. So if we click this button, do something. And what do we want to do? Well, we want to go ahead and go into the editor utility and go ahead and grab a display dialog. And that display dialog is basically, you know, that window that pops up that says, hey, you know, you're going to delete such and such a thing. Are you sure? And then you either click, you know, like OK or cancel or whatever your your options are. Well, that, that display dialog returns a Boolean value. And we can just capture whatever it is that they click. And if they do click the, the delete button, then we'll just simply go ahead and call our remove method from our quality database. Sounds simple, right? <laughs> it actually is. So let's just go ahead and get into the editor utility dot display dialog and there's quite a few here like uh you have um complex dialog i believe that's the one with three options we only want two for this one either you're going to delete it or you're not so we have a couple options here for the overloads um so we actually only have two the first one's the title of your box the string message and string okay as in what's the okay option but we want to be able to give them two options so we're going to take a look here they actually for the second one here we have the string title string message uh, string OK and string cancel. This is the one we want. So we'll start off with the first one, the string title. And I'm just going to call it delete. Uh, maybe if we spell it right. <laughs> delete. There we go. I'm going to say quality. That's the first string. So we'll go ahead. We'll take a look at the second one here. Now we need the string message. So basically a little message to give them. Uh, we're going to say, are you, are your, are you sure that you want to delete? And we're actually going to append the name in here. And instead of typing it all out, let's just go ahead and copy it from here. Uh, so we're going to grab the name and then we'll append onto that from the database. This is pretty long. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and break this up into multiple lines, but let's just keep typing on one line for now. So the next message or the next thing we want is string OK. And if we go down, remember we're using number two for the overloads. And we also need a string cancel. So what are we going to have for string the OK? I'm going to say, Either yes or delete. I'm just going to use delete. If I can spell it, man, brain's not working. And for the next one, we need cancel a uh, string to represent, well, the cancel button. And I'm just going to say cancel. That's pretty much universally known, right? So it is an if block. So we'll go ahead and we'll close it off, put it in these parentheses. And I'm going to go ahead and break this down a bit. Uh, just because it's such a long... Uh, command and I'm going to break down with the the uh, commas are so you know what all the different options are so again reiterate title message yes option no option all right so if they do manage to click yes what do we want to do or in this case delete we're not saying yes but whatever you want the positive one well we're just going to say quality database dot and we made remove and we have two overloads for remove. One, one where we can remove from an int, that's the one we'll use. But the other one we can remove an actual IS quality itself, but we're gonna use the int. And the other we're gonna use is CNT and that's it. So let's go ahead and we'll save this off. And to be honest, it's only one line. We don't even need this. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll save this off. No errors, let's fire the bad boy back up. And what do we wanna delete? Uh, let's, let's get rid of uncommon. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on common or click the X button. And I actually want the database open too. Okay. Let's go. We'll shrink all these down just so it's a little bit easier to see. So uncommon we're going for. Uh, so delete quality. Are you sure you want to, want to delete uncommon? Maybe we should make that bold too. Uh, we'll just leave it like that. I'll leave it to you to style it for bold if you want. Uh, from the database. And I should put a question mark there. And if we hit cancel. It's still there. And you can see it over here too. So we know cancel works. 
Let's try delete. Bam, and it's gone. Get rare. Bam, gone. Great, we got that functionality working. So all we have left to do is just to style this. And, well, actually, you know, we got a couple more things we got to do here. Um, I'm going to do the styling next, but I do want to add maybe at the bottom here a bar and have the total number of qualities we have and an add button. That way there, if we want to add a new one to the list, we can just click this and maybe put a, an empty one down at the bottom. But before I add that bar, I am actually going to go through and style this here. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll close this. And actually, before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and hide this now. We don't need this anymore. So we come into the database. And for me, again, if you you have it public and you want to leave it public, by all means, go ahead. But I like to hide it. I like to make sure that people can't screw with it. Great. Come up. Let's get back in there. All right. So we're going to come over to the list view. And this is where we're going to do all the styling. So, oh, this is where it gets so messy. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and look at it. I already know roughly how I want it because I pretty much put all of them the exact same. I'll put them all in the same row, but have some like little nice border around it. So we'll start with just getting all three. So we'll need to begin horizontal. Ugh. Okay, you ready to get messy? So we're going to come in here into the for loop where we're displaying the qualities. And we're going to go GUI layout dot begin horizontal. And because I'm beginning a horizontal, remember I said almost everything that I can think of that has a begin something in the GUI layout has an end. There might be something that I just can't remember, but uh, everything I can think of has one. So I'm going to come all the way down to the end of the for loop, which is down here. And GUI layout dot end horizontal. All right, just those two lines of code should improve it a bit. We'll go ahead, wait for it to refresh. There we go. It's put everything in the proper, well, everything in one row now. So that's a good start. Uh, I do want to shrink this down. I don't, whoops, I don't want it to be that big anymore. How big? Maybe half of that. And I think that's over here. We saved that in a variable, right? Yeah, 982. So I'm going to go back down to 46. Is that too small? And again, this is one of those things where you just season to flavor, I guess. <laughs> um, and of course, this still means that we can edit. Uh, I've closed, but you can actually edit live. So if you type in, tab out, it'll actually update. All right, so let's go ahead. We have to set the size here. And this, what I'm going to do with the button is set the size there. So I'm going to come down to where the button is. <laughs> right here, and we're gonna go ahead and set the size here. So GUI layout dot width, and how big do we want it? I'm gonna make it the exact same width as that constant up there. Well, for now, let's just do 20. Let's throw in a magic number. So we all know how much everyone loves those. Just to see how wide that is. Wait for it to update. Mm, not updating. Did I not save? I saved, and I guess it actually helps if uh, I do the right button. <laughs> We're doing save. Ah, okay, so save that off. We'll come back into the list view. Let's grab that actual X button. We'll put the code there. Come back in, wait for it to refresh. Bam, 20 is a little small. Maybe let's do another 10. And of course, if you have some graphics and you'd rather load a texture up on the button, by all means, go ahead. How come it doesn't seem centered? So the smallest, it just doesn't seem centered to me. Uh, for now, we'll leave it. It's the size that I'm most concerned about right now. All right, so we have that. Now I'm gonna get a little bit fancier. And well, if we go like this, you'll notice that we have some options for layout options here. And in Overload 2, we can put a style in. I'm going to use the default box style. So if you're making a, a GUI layout or just your GUI box, this is the same style that you'd want. 
Now, we've already gone over using GUI styles and skins before in the previous series. So if you want to go ahead and uh, use that, by all means, go ahead. You could probably make some really nice alternating colors for them. Uh, for me, this is good. Maybe I'll move the delete down here. It doesn't really need to be this big first off. I, actually, since I'm going to have so much room here, I'm going to go ahead and move the delete key down here. So in order to do that, <laughs> uh, we're going to begin a horizontal. We're going to display the sprite. Uh, then when, when we come to the name, I'm going to do a GUI layout dot begin vertical. I'm not going to style. And because I'm beginning a vertical, we need to end that. But I'm going to end it after the delete button. So actually right here. So GUI layout dot end vertical. And that way there, it keeps the, the name. Did I put that in the right spot? Yeah, right here. So everything between those two. So the name and the delete button. I'm going to go ahead and put a space in here just for reading sakes. Uh, so the name and the delete button will be stacked vertically. We'll come back in, load this bad boy up. And there we go. Now we could go ahead and even play around with the spacing a little bit more and get it to line up really nice with the, the icon over here. Or even just make the button a bit bigger. Let's just increase the height of the button. Because I know eventually I'm probably going to want to go ahead and put a an image in there, maybe like a little trash can. I don't have one handy. If someone wants one or has one or feels like making one and feels like donating it to the cause, by all means, let me know. I'll go ahead and put it on the website and put a link to it. Uh, so GUI layout dot height. And for height, let's do 20 to start off with. We'll see how this looks. It's a little better, uh, maybe 30. That'd be great if it's 30 by 30. Because I do want to get rid of these magic numbers after, but it's going to be different for each person. A little too big. Let's try 25. Now, there's also gaps and whatnot you can put in there. If you go ahead and look at the GUI layout documentation on the website, plus the editor GUI layout stuff, there's just so many ways to style. Like it would just take me forever. So 25 seems to be good for me. It would just take me forever to try to go through all of them, even just the majority of them. There's so many, and so many of them just repeat themselves. But keep in mind, the main difference is that the editor stuff can only be used while you're in the Unity editor and the, the, the just the regular GUI layout stuff. You can actually use in your game if for some reason you wanted to use the immediate system. Uh, but that's good. So let's work on this bar down at the bottom now. And let's actually say that to the next video. I've been making them really long, 30 minutes, roughly. I want to try to get back down to keep it shorter steps, smaller steps. Uh, it's just easier to, uh, when you have to come back and look at something, go, oh, how'd you make that bar the back down at the bottom? You don't have to come back and see where I do the bar, do some styling, do this, do that. Uh, it's just not one quick little video. I think that'll probably help people out a little bit better. So they don't have to watch a 30 minute video to find out that you know one minute of actual information. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.